Signs of corneal ectasia, I think the number one thing that is besides the decrease in vision, the blurring of vision, uh, all the different halos and light streaks, uh, multiple images, but one of the big things is actual shifting and increasing astigmatism. No matter what your the person tells you who does your glasses says, your astigmatism doesn't change. It doesn't go up, it doesn't go down. Astigmatism is a cornea out of round. What that means is, is the cornea is, instead of a perfect sphere, it's a little bit oval in one direction, and, and that's astigmatism, so it's a little bit oval. And that is really from the time you're born. So you actually have increasing astigmatism, corneal ectasia, such as LASIK-induced ectasia, such as keratoconus, such as pellucid marginal degeneration. These are diseases where the astigmatism actually increases. Yes, it's not regular astigmatism, it's irregular, but still, one of the signs is, is the astigmatism increases in the glasses. And we had a patient recently where the doctor kept changing the astigmatism kept increasing. She went from glasses to lenses to scleral lenses, changing the scleral lenses every six months. For some reason, her doctor never told her it might be ectasia. She finally came to us. She's not from San Diego. Uh, she traveled a ways, and it was severe LASIK-induced ectasia. These are the kinds of things that would be a real red flag. So that's changing astigmatism, worsening astigmatism, in a significant matter is a big sign of corneal ectasia.